Well, my name is Amal Nergut Khar. I'm the CEO of Patient Prism, and I'm uh, delighted to welcome Teresa Duncan here um, from Odyssey Management. She is one of the premier speakers on dental insurance over across the country uh, has written an amazing book on conversations in, in dental yeah. insurance. And we're truly having a fun talking about all things insurance, but one of the questions I have for you is, is the important role of the insurance coordinator in the dental office. Mm -hmm. um, we, I see that more and more, uh, insurance coordinators in offices, whether it's a single location or it's multiple practices. Yeah. Uh, what, do you, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I think it's about time. Okay. And uh, for years, the, the pushback was, I don't want to pay somebody to handle insurance when I'm already taking a write-off. So sure. now I'm taking a huge write-off, and now I have to pay a salary, and that person's gonna be on the phone, so now I have to pay a phone line. I have to, you're doing that anyways, so mm -hmm. you might as well have somebody who's dedicated to it. Uh, what I see often is somebody who is at the front, they're the receptionist, they're the ones checking them out, and they're the insurance coordinator, it's sure. too much, and we wonder why we get burnout. So I think in, uh, in today's day and age, if you have a pretty decent amount of plans, whether you're participating or not, you need someone to handle the claims, the appeals, checking on benefits and talking to the patients. There's a whole list of things that an insurance coordinator can do. One of my most popular courses um, in, at associations is called the Accidental Insurance Coordinator because what happens is somebody becomes a coordinator by accident right. and, and they're not usually trained for it. So I think if you're a doctor and you're looking at whether or not to add this position, Take a look at your front desk. If if all they're doing is spending time on the phone with insurance, if you see them, if you walk by and they're always on the phone on hold, it's time. I want the best of your office to be talking to your patients, not to the insurance company. So I want you, if somebody's going to be talking to the insurance company, have them be in a different location in the back, you know, sure. or maybe outsource it, whatever you want to do. But it has to be somebody who's dedicated and can handle it all day long instead of being interrupted. That was right. the worst when I was when I was working in an office and I was pretty much everything and right. and I would be focused on something and then you know check a patient out and then present a treatment plan and when you're in the middle of posting checks and calling on benefits or talking to a patient about the benefits sure. you can't get interrupted like that so I think you're shooting yourself in the foot by not having an insurance coordinator uh, can they uh, have the role of the treatment plan coordinator as well? Can they combine those roles? I think it's a good idea uh, because they're most familiar with the benefits. And when sure. you have the treatment plan printout, you have that person that's very familiar with those numbers. Okay. Now, if you're a large location, if you're a big office, that may not make sense. But sure. as a typical solo practitioner, that's actually the perfect, perfect role, a combined insurance and treatment coordinator. I mean, a lot of times, as you hit the nail on the head, is a, a dentist will say, oh my God, this is gonna add to my overhead. Mm -hmm. Um, and because I don't know what I'm not measuring, right? So we, we don't know um, how optimized your collection process is, how, how many denials are you getting. So if you really measure that cost, um, it seems that the insurance coordinator more than pays for herself or himself Absolutely. In, in, in so many ways. Let's think about this. So say just the average salary for somebody in your office, maybe let's just say it's $50,000 sure. for that. If you have somebody up front who doesn't know what they're doing and they write off a lot, I've seen write-offs total $200,000, $300,000 on an office. So if they had had somebody who was focusing on that and paying attention, they would have that would have been a profit for them. They would have right. realized that. I get offices all the time that are saying, why am I writing so many refund checks? Why do I have so many adjustments? And it's because you don't have one person dedicated to it and, and double-checking on things. Right. So you need someone to look at the process as well. I, I think the job of insurance coordinator more than pays for itself. Right. Um, I think it's actually a detriment to the progressive offices that have a lot of participation. I think they're shooting themselves in the foot by not having somebody. And the issue also of compliance comes into place, right? I mean, you, you can run afoul of rules and, mm -hmm. and, and how to bill correctly and you can, you know, overcharging patients and there's all sorts of issues, right? Well, if you don't have somebody that's trained, they may not know that, um, it's not okay to just pick a code, right? You know, if you think that it's not going to be covered, and I've seen this. I, I mean, this is this is what I've personally seen. I go into offices and I'll audit them, and they'll they'll be submitting for a totally different procedure because they know that's covered and not what we did, and it's because nobody told them that, and that's part of why. I mean, I hear that all my life with this industry. Nobody told me I couldn't do that. The training is so important with wow. insurance, and we've yes. seen so many people just do it the way they've been doing it. Like we've we've seen in the past offices that. Everybody gets, uh, uh, you know, upgraded mm -hmm. on the crown. Everybody gets uh, a build-up, for right. example. I'm like, oh, we've we, we just been doing that forever. 
And it's so important to be stay in compliance as well. Absolutely. Uh, and having a well-trained insurance coordinator who kind of understands uh, how to comply, how to optimize, how to how to collect, how to appeal. Mm -hmm. It's a full-time job in itself. And staying up on it too, because today's insurance plans change every year. When okay. I was doing this 20 years ago, it was pretty much the same for five, six years. Like things didn't really change. Sure. So an insurance coordinator nowadays, I mean, it's almost like taking yearly OSHA CE or HIPAA CE. You've sure. got to take an insurance class, whether it's me or any of the other experts out there. You have to take a, a yearly class and stay on top of it. That's great. Uh, let's, that's a great point to end the segment on. But I uh, really am, am in favor of dental offices hiring ahead of their growth and mm -hmm. hiring, making sure you have the right team in place. And an yes. insurance coordinator is, is very important. So Absolutely. great discussion. Thank you. Thank you.